But you know the best thing about today was we didn't run any Karens underwater. Yeah. <laughs> so today we have a pretty exciting video. So about six months ago, I filmed a Karen throwing a fishing pole off a dock into the water. And today we have a scuba diver coming down from Oklahoma City to go find that fishing pole. Hopefully he can find it. It has been six months, so it may be a challenge, but uh, let's head down to Lake Meredith and see what he finds. So how long have you been diving for? So I got certified to dive in 1998, actually. <laughs> wow, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, I mean, I grew up, uh, my parents actually owned a scuba shop in Oklahoma, and uh, so I grew up around diving. We used to go uh, Mexico, all kinds of stuff, cavern diving, go with sharks, all kinds of stuff, man. That was before GoPros, too. You're right. <laughs> I, wish I, had, uh, I wish I had stuff to film it back then. That's pretty cool. It's a lot of gear. That's, that's just only a fraction of it, too. Right? <laughs> this is all new to me. I never... <laughs> yeah, I think the deepest I've ever been was, uh, I want to say one time I went down like 150. Oh, God. Or somewhere around 150. How was that? Well, it was in the ocean, and I got what's called uh, nitrogen narcosis. And it's where you don't know, it's where basically you almost feel drunk, and uh, you don't know which way is up, down, and uh, it's just kind of a weird feeling. Oh, I was God. diving with my stepdad at the time, and he, he, said, uh, he said I was going down when I swear I was going up. That's, I don't know. That's scary. To this day, I'm still like, nah, I, think I, <laughs> I don't think I actually had that problem, but he swears I did. But with this tank here, I could probably, uh, if I really wanted to, I could stretch it out to probably hour and a half, maybe hour 45 minutes underwater. Mm -hmm. That's my only problem. Mm -hmm. I just like being in the water. That's kind of where my fishing came from, just loving the water so much. This is going to sound really phony, but I feel drawn to the water. No, uh, I understand. You know, I just feel like... Um, this natural like calling to be in the water, on the water, uh, you know, whether it be paddle boarding, my wife has a pad an inflatable paddle board that we normally take with us. This computer is actually really cool. It'll tell you uh, how much time you have left, you know, if your current air right. consumption is the same, how much time you have left in, at that dive. That's pretty so cool. So it's really cool. So yeah, see, normally I have my metal detector and stuff, oh, so dude. I'm not gonna that use it today though. That is awesome. I'm gonna focus on trying to find the pole and whatever else we can find. Right. It'd probably be a lot of poles and chairs. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. You know, honestly, at the end of the day, what's important and what I, I like, I enjoy most is like trying to get the most out of the water that doesn't belong in the water. Right. You know, like trash. I normally fill this this net up like three or four times on a dive. Just I don't, I don't know what temperature. I'm gonna wear this skin underneath my seven mil, and uh, that's actually what I did in Tahoe, and it helped a lot. Yeah. Because uh, the only thing that got cold on me was my hands and feet. You know what? I'm gonna man up. I'm just gonna wear. No, it. no, do it now. Uh, it's gonna be cold. You think? <laughs> it's gonna be free, like okay. probably 40s, okay. yeah. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll I guess let's, let's do this thing. Let's do it. Let's do this because it's not gonna find itself, right? <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> On the dock he's about to drop into the water how you feeling man man i'm excited actually i'm excited hopefully we can find it like i said or you know even recover some other fishing poles would be cool right there's a lot down there oh well, that water's cold holy crap <laughs> i warned you <laughs> okay i'm glad i wore that second wetsuit holy crap <laughs> i don't think anyone has ever done this before oh really not that i know of that's why I think you'll find a lot of stuff. You'll find a lot of chairs. Well, <laughs> that's what I said. Hey, I'm, well, I'm not above finding chairs. <laughs> a lot of chairs and a lot of fishing poles. There's nothing like coming off the dock that I'm gonna hit when I jump in, right? No, there is a wire right here. Yeah, I saw that one. How's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> Whew. 
Yeah, it's a little chilly. <laughs> oh, oh, golly. What are y'all looking for? Fishing pole. Fishing pole? Yeah. That's probably big, the biggest fish in the lake probably just drags it away. Probably. If you see a walleye, grab it for us. <laughs> we'll have lunch. <laughs> So I'm gonna just kind of work my way straight out right here. Okay. Uh, depending how deep it gets, how dark it gets, will depend on how far I go. Okay. If it starts getting real deep and dark, where my light's not even helping, I'm not even gonna bother. Right, I understand. So we'll just kind of play it right here. All right, sounds good. Hopefully it doesn't get too deep, too dark, too fast. That's what's bad about this lake, it just drops. It, man, it drops fast. It does. Like I said, I got down to 40, I think it was 41 feet, and I was like, I still don't see the bottom. <laughs> how deep is this, good God. Oh crap. And just like that, he's gone. So he did jump in off the dock, but uh, the dock used to be right here. You can kind of see the mark of it. And it was pointing out this way. But they moved it over because the water has dropped a few feet. But I feel like if he just walked straight out, he would have a line of dropped poles and chairs and fishing weights, phones. If anyone's ever dropped a phone, I figured that would be there. Of course, the current can take it anywhere, but I figured that would be the best bet. But I'm not a scuba diver. <laughs> there is his diving flag. You can see the bubbles. Man, that's so freaking cool. So him actually finding the pole is a long shot. Uh, it's been like six months since I posted that video. Anyone else could have came out here and caught it with a fishing pole or with a magnet. There's been a bunch of comments saying that they want to go magnet fish this area. So like I said, it's a long shot, but we're out here giving it a try. What are the odds he finds it? Slim to none. Yeah, slim to none. It's a long shot, but I hope we find something cool. We'll see. All right, he's been in the water for about 20 minutes now. He's making his way way over there. I wonder how hard it is to tell where you are underwater. I bet you can't, especially in deep water when it's dark. But it's really hard to tell where you are. He's getting pretty close to these docks. <laughs> he got down to 38. Holy crap. Like, Holy he said that is the coldest dive he's ever done. It got down to 38 degrees down there. God, it's freezing. 60 in New Mexico was horrible, but of course I don't have a wetsuit, but don't want to imagine 38. That was trash. Bunch of trash? No phones, no poles, nothing? Nothing. nothing. It's really down there. It's horrible. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You're deep. I didn't see a single fish either. Really? Fish. Yeah, they're not around here. It's too cold. <laughs> That's why we're not catching anything. Yeah. Feels good up here now. <laughs> cold down there. Man, I can't even imagine. There's like these tall, like, uh, heck, I don't know what you call them, like weeds. They're like eight feet tall. Dang. I'd say the tall. visibility is probably, uh, Hard to say, four to five foot. Four to five foot. Even. On bottom, very deep. Yeah. Dang. But the moment you stop, all the, the soot just starts consuming you and you can't see anything. <laughs> yeah. So. Man, that sucks. I don't know if it's gonna happen, man. Uh, I understand. I might, I might give it one more shot, but that's tough diving right there. I bet. Cause that bottom is not rock or anything. It's just mud. I think it's cool just for you, for you to even be here. <laughs> Hey, I never pass up a diving opportunity. And like I said, my goal is to leave the place better than I found it. And right. I got a bunch of trash, so. Hey. <laughs> you hear gla those glass bottles? Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm happy with that, you know? Yeah, we tried. You cleaned yeah. up the lake. Yep. You did good. So you think, uh, 
Yeah, right here? Yeah, straight out to that buoy. I can tell you one thing, I'm not going out to that buoy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> no, it's only like 30 feet out. <laughs> Dang, my face is frozen. Man. Do you get a headache from... Yeah. No? That dive only went down to 32 feet. Gotta do a shot. Burr. <laughs> 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 I understand. All right, guys, he's gonna go ahead and call it. It is 38 degrees, it's freezing, and the visibility is horrible. So, we tried, that's all that matters. Nerf bullet. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Found a nerf bullet. Guys, that's cold. That is cold. <laughs> you have to come back in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's cold whenever. Uh, this is colder than Lake Tahoe in December. Jeez. That's when you know it's cold. <sighs> <laughs> Holy crap. Not today. Not today. Someone did not eat their Wheaties this morning. <laughs> Devin, I told you to eat your Wheaties. <laughs> it's all your fault. Yeah, again. Get out of here, Devin. <laughs> it's all Devin's fault. <laughs> but like I said, we got trash out of the water. A half bag full. That's what's important, honestly. Oh yeah, it's been a good day. Well, man, I'm glad you came out here and tried. Man, I appreciate you uh, coming out and meeting me. Of course. I, uh, I, I, it sucks we didn't get it. I was really hoping that we'd at least find a fishing pole. Right. Uh, but like I said, man, I got down to 40 feet in that first dive, and uh, I didn't even see the bottom. I had my flashlight. So yeah. I want to say it was dead, but I, <laughs> I didn't put a battery in it, so that, that was on me. Right. And uh, so I was like, well, crap. So I resurfaced, came back up here. Uh, went down the second time. Went down the second time. I think the max I got down was like 34 feet and uh, 38 degrees. And I was like, holy crap, it's cold. Yeah. Visibility was horrible. But nah, I'm glad I came out. I really am. Yeah, awesome. I, I would have been mad at myself if I didn't come out and at least try. Right. So, Just you coming out here is awesome enough for me. Man, I, it was an excuse for me to get out and adventure. Right. <laughs> that's, that's, that's another thing about this is I look for any excuse to get out and go on an adventure. It gives me a, a reason to get out of the house. So the whole reason behind my channel really was, uh, obviously I love diving, but uh, it got to the point where my wife was traveling a lot and things like that. And I, I got constantly in this like no mentality. And um, one day my wife was like, when are you gonna start going places with me? You know, instead of me having to like go with my friends. So I started, you know, you ever seen that movie, Yes Man? with yeah, Jim yeah, Carrey. Yeah. So I started having that mentality. He started saying yes to everything. Awesome. And dude, my life has changed for the better. And I just, you know, we constantly are traveling now and going out and doing stuff. And uh, that's when I kind of was like, you know what, I'm gonna start like videoing my adventures and yeah. where we go and stuff. So, but yeah. That's, that's cool. Man. It's awesome. It's I love awesome. that mentality. Yeah, kind just of the same way. You gotta say yes to stuff, yeah. man, or else, you know, you're gonna let life fly, fly by. And, you know, I think I got, I think I was 29 years old before I started having that mentality. And I was like, you know what, life's too short. Right. All right, guys, so he didn't find anything, but he did clean up the lake. One of, yeah, <laughs> it was an awesome day. It was cool to watch him scuba dive out here. I've never seen that before ever, so that was pretty sick. What's your channel name? Shout out. Uh, Z Cooksey. It's just my name, Zach Cooksey, but it's like Z Cook Z. <laughs> so a lot of people uh, pronounce it Z Cooks. But anyways, yeah, that's my channel. It's most about scuba diving, free diving, cleaning up the environment. Uh, my motto is leave a place better than you found it. Like today, for instance, I came out here expecting to find that fishing pole, uh, but we got some trash out of the water. Ultimately, that's what's important to me. So at the end of the day, it was successful. Heck yeah. Uh, go give him a follow. His link will be in the description below. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Peace.